So, <laughs> I'm literally shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> so, I just got back from the gym. This is 8.34 p.m. And as I was coming back, <laughs> I need to count, I need to count. Okay. Oh, sorry, baby. As I was coming back, I said to just check my mailbox. And I got this package. <sighs> I got this package, and right now, I'm not expecting anything that I ordered to arrive now. I felt it, and I think I know what is inside. <sighs> I think I know what's inside. <sighs> I've been expecting this. This is going to be my first time seeing this. So guys, I think this is my PhD thesis in hard copy. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so excited. This is, I think, I think, I think I'm 100% sure. It says from USPS, let me see. It says like an address. Mm. Ah, so I'm not sure. Let's open it. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Do you know what it feels like to go through all these years to get my PhD, write my thesis, I know what it took to write that thesis, and then submit it, defend, and become the Dr. Jane. And now I get to see my thesis in hard copy. <laughs> like, I have goose pimples, goose bombs, and I'm feeling cold. The weather is not cold. <laughs> So how it works is that after you um, finish your thesis and your university approves it, they now send it to the um, website that will handle the publishing it online and printing the hard copy. It's called ProQuest. ProQuest, yeah, ProQuest. So this should be from ProQuest. I don't. So I don't know what the hard copy looks like. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, it's one thing to have it in a Word document, PDF file on my computer. It's another thing to see it in person. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> I didn't put it. Oh, it's still wrapped. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm right. It says from ProQuest. Pro 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 Quest. <laughs> I can't even pronounce the word anymore because I'm so excited. Yeah, so this one didn't say where it's from, but this says from ProQuest. So I'm right. <sighs> I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <sighs> one, two. Three. Uh, oh my God. Wait, this the, oh my God. This, it's not even as big as I thought it would be. So it says, Aguara, I don't know if you guys can see, Aguara, Procurus, carbon dioxide, CO2 conversion to chemicals and fuels over iron ZSM5. This is my PhD thesis, guys. Now I have to open it. I have to open it to see what the inside looks like. I, w I thought it was going to be like, I hope, I wish it was like blue because blue is my favorite color. <sighs> Where's the front? I can <sighs> okay, let me be serious. This carbon dioxide CO2 conversion to chemicals and fuels over iron ZSM5 by Jane Ngozi Aguara submitted in partial fulfillment of the requirement for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, not of for the degree Doctor of Philosophy, supervised by Professor Mark D. Porosov, Department of Chemical Engineering, Arts, Science and Engineering, Edmund A. Hajim School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, University of Rochester, Rochester, New York, 2004. Oh, this is my hard work. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but this is it. Oh, th this is my years of PhD. Let's read my acknowledgement page and see what I wrote. I love reading acknowledgement when I see people's um, faces. Okay, I wrote... <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me guys i'm just so excited so i wrote i would like to start by appreciating my phd advisor professor mark d herself for offering me a position in his research group to explore the scientific world of heterogeneous catalysis research for co2 utilization 
I cannot thank him enough for all that I've learned from him, his support, contributions, and encouragement over the years has been instrumental in honing my research skills and shaping my academic and professional journey. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thank you to my PhD professor. He was the best. So paragraph two, I said, I would also like to thank the members of my thesis committee, Professor Katrin Knowles, Professor Wyatt Tenev, and Professor Alubi Hussein for their support and contributions. To my former lab mates, Dr. Michelle Jr. and Dr. Renji Liu, thank you for welcoming me into the Parasol Research Group as a third PhD student of the group for answering all my catalysis questions, training me on how to use some equipment, and for all the times we spent together troubleshooting equipment and having both personal and professional discussions. Even after graduating, you both have remained a text away. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Renji. If you ever get to watch this video, I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate you guys. I really, really am grateful to God that you guys were the people, the senior colleagues I got to work with during my PhD. The next paragraph I wrote, to the current members of the Parasol Research Group, thank you all for being amazing lab mates to work with. To Shane and Hasita, thank you both for being people that I could always talk to. I appreciate the times we spent dissecting scientific questions and, of course, managing to drag me away from my computer for our 7 p.m. hot chocolate at Wilson Commons. Aww. <laughs> to all the past and current undergraduates that I've had the pleasure of mentoring, Lauren, um, Nuja, Daniel, Ahmed, and Sophia, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to work with you and play a part, uh, what did I, and play a role in part of your foundational lab research experience. I ended up learning a lot in the process. Yeah, I really love to mentor people because when you mentor, you learn, because when they ask you all this question, they might think it's silly or dumb. The time you're spending to like process the answer, give it to them, you're also learning. So I love to mentor. I would also like to to thank the staff of the Low Carbon Research Institute at APRI, where I had the pleasure of working with whom, whom I had. I'm so excited, I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> All right, I'll read that paragraph again. I would also like to thank the staff of the Low Carbon Resource Initiative at Electric Power Research Institute, whom I had the pleasure of working with during my internship. Special thanks to my manager, Matt and Adam for their invaluable support throughout my internship. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you so much, Adam. You guys were super amazing during my internship. Next paragraph. I am also deeply grateful to Professor James Crawford of the Montana State University for always being available and prompt in assisting my professional development. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to Pamela, the founder of the Research Experience in Carbon Sequestration, for her unwavering support and advice. I am also grateful to the close friends I made at the University of Rochester. Joshua, Josh, you were my best friend. Josh, Joshua Balthazar and Heta Ganhi. Heta, I love you, girl. If you ever watch this video, I love you, girl. Thank you for your genuine friendship. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I made a lot of friends, of course, but I wrote these two people because they were like, the two people that I knew that were genuinely my friend, that genuinely look out for me, that genuinely had my best interest in, at heart. All right, my heartfelt gratitude also goes to my church family at RCCG Victory Center, of course, and my pastors, Aaron and Kofu Lowara Olashe Bikon, for their spiritual guidance and unwavering support. Thank you for always being there for me and providing a home away from home for me. Thank you so much, Pastor Kofu. Thank you, Pastor Aaron. Thank you guys so much for just... Being, always been there for me throughout my time in Rochester as a, a PhD student. I always knew that I had a family, even though you guys are not my biological family, you just, you're my spiritual family, but I always knew that if anything should ever happen, I knew the pastor's house would be there for me to go to. I know that I usually did not come to you guys for help, and that's because I just have this thing where I really don't know how to ask for help. But deep down in my heart, I always knew that if anything should ever happen, you guys would be there for me. 
Finally, I extend my deepest appreciation to my parents, Jerry and Beatrice, and my family members, Joy, Olua, Shegun, Gift, Simeon, Grace, Paul, Peace, Ekachi, and Uche for their unconditional love, unwavering support, and constant encouragement. Their belief in me and encouragement have been a driving force throughout my academic and professional journey. My family are the best. Like, the way my family supports me, they just, they just keep me going. You know, like when, when I see people complain about the kind of family they have, the kind of like how bad their mom is, or how bad their dad is, or how they are fighting with this sibling, I just cannot relate because I have the best family member. Of course, we fight. It's normal for, not like fight, physical fight, but we disagree. It's normal for people to disagree, even if you're not family. But deep down, but I know that they genuinely love me. They genuinely look out for me. Like, they believe in me. The way my siblings believe in me, the way they root for me, sometimes, though I'm not the type to give up, but if, I, if at any point I feel like giving up, I remember how those people are rooting for me. I'm like, no, girl, you can't do that. So anyways, guys, and of course, to my YouTube subscribers, I started YouTube in, I think, 2020, even though I wasn't very serious until 2021 when I became serious. Along the line, I've been able, my channel has always just been to help people, and I've been able to help a lot of people. And the good thing is that some of you have ended up becoming my friends in person because there are a couple of my subscribers that ended up coming to my city or to my school, and saw how we met and we became friends. For those of you that I'm yet to meet, I know it's not possible to meet like thousands of you, but I really just appreciate you guys for being part of my community, part of my channel. Just keep riding with me and as, as I keep going through this journey of life. Anyways, guys, this is my PhD thesis. My baby, my hard work, my hard work. So one question that people always ask is how long it took me to write my thesis and people would give, oh, I remember this video. I don't know if I, you guys can see this video. This video, let's not go into that. <laughs> so people always ask how long it took me to write my thesis. Um, I kind of envy people that had enough time, like months upon months to write their thesis. I didn't have that. So uh, by December last year, not December, like before December, I knew that I really want to graduate May 2024, that I have to graduate May 2024. So I said, okay, I'm going to start writing my thesis in December when I go for December break. But I don't know about you guys, but when I'm on vacation, girl, I'm on vacation, I cannot do work. <laughs> so when I went for my Christmas break, of course, I took my stuff. First day, I started working, I started doing some stuff. Second day, I tried. Third day, mm -mm, your girl had to just rest. So I did not write anything. When I came back January, I was still doing my project. I was writing a paper. I, I, was, I just had so many things. I was applying for jobs, just so many things going on. But I think I really seriously started writing my thesis probably in February or March, maybe February, February. And then I submitted it in April, yeah. I submitted my thesis in April and I defended in on May 2nd. So let's say I used about two months or two months plus to write this thesis. So it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to get this done within that time. And, and considering the kind of advisor that I have, who is very, very, like he's very good. He's an amazing writer. So you can't just write anything and give to him. You will have to like, re, um, like give you critique and critique and stuff like that. But the good thing is that when he does that, at the end of the day, when you read the thesis, you'll be very happy with what you have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I just go back from the gym and I was just so excited. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is where I'm going to place it. I wish they had the name of the thing written here, but it's here. Maybe I'll just keep, oh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.